friends welcome to my channel inspire from universe this is a student special channel we can also say as an interesting series about our world and beyond you will be traveling with me around our universe in this 10 minutes in each country we are going to see the important places, interesting things, natural wonders, historical events, interesting information about people living there. What can we inspire from them is what we are going to know from this channel. It will be really informative and will definitely kindle your thoughts. I feel very happy and excited to connect with you all through this channel. Among all countries, we are going to first know about England, whose capital city is London. England is an important part of United Kingdom which is ruled by Queen Elizabeth II. United Kingdom comprises of Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. This is the flag of United Kingdom. I hope you know the difference between Great Britain and United Kingdom. Great Britain comprises of only three countries, namely Scotland, Wales, and England. This is the flag of Great Britain. London is not only the capital city for England, but also for Great Britain and United Kingdom. But just like England, all other three countries have their own capital cities too. Edinburgh is the capital city for Scotland, Cardiff is the capital city for Wales, and Belfast is the capital city for Northern Ireland. We shall look at each country one by one. First set of videos are going to be about England. So please subscribe to my channel to explore our world. This is the flag of England. London is a beautiful city on the banks of Thames River. This is the Palace of Westminster. This is where the House of Parliament functions. Just like in India, we have Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Here they call as House of Commons and House of Lords. The clock adjacent to the Palace of Westminster is the famous Big Ben. Big Ben is just a nickname. Its original name is Clock Tower, but in 2012, during Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee celebration, they have renamed it as Elizabeth Tower. This is another famous landmark, London Tower Bridge. It's a combination of bascule and suspension bridge. To improve their trade in the 19th century, this important bridge was constructed. This is the famous London Eye or Millennium Wheel. As the name says, it was installed in the year 2000. It was the tallest observatory wheel during that time. Later, countries like Singapore and United States have installed bigger observatory wheels than this. If you watch from the observatory cubicle, we can have a spectacular view of London City. This is one of the most powerful places in the world, the Buckingham Palace, the residence of Queen Elizabeth II. You can very well imagine how magnificent it will be. The royal family makes special appearances to public from this palace during important dates. 
This is Westminster Abbey Church. This is where royal weddings happen. But there is another important fact about th this church. This is where in olden days they used to bury kings, queens, famous writers, scientists, etc. Famous scientists like Charles Darwin and Sir Isaac Newton are buried here. Recently, in 2018, after the demise of famous physicist Stephen Hawking, they have buried his ashes here too. Have you ever studied about Prime Meridian? This is a famous imaginary vertical line which connects the North and South Poles. Do you know the purpose of it? This is the zero degree starting line to measure our world east and west. This line is in the place called Greenwich in London. Hence this line is called as Greenwich Meridian 2. People used to click their pictures by standing on this zero degree line. There is a Greenwich Maritime Museum here. In this museum, they have displayed interesting things used in the olden days, like ships, pictures, letters, Harrison clock machines, telescopes, and even a planetarium is there. This makes us to wonder, with limited technologies, how courageously have they traveled all over the world? In the 17th century, astronomer Royal John Flamsteed had lived and researched in this house for 43 years. They have preserved and kept all the items used by him. Such an amazing place to see. In London, most of the places like churches, palaces, even houses are at least a hundred years old. But when you come to place Canary Wharf, it is filled with modern skyscrapers like banks, restaurants, entertainment centers, etc. You will be surprised to see this version of London, but of course as expected, it's a costly place. This is 30 St. Mary Act. It's one of the most famous commercial buildings in London. Since it looks like the vegetable gherkin, it's also called as the gherkin. It's famous for its marvelous architectural design. This is the tallest building in London. It's called the Shard. It's a magnificent 72-story building. There is a viewing gallery and an open observatory deck in the 72nd floor. Yet another place where we can have a spectacular view of London. In this video, we have seen all important places in London. I hope you like it. Please leave your feedback in the comments section below. Next video, we shall look about the history behind people living here, especially the immigrants. Thank you for watching. Please share this video to students and subscribe to know more about the world. Take care and see you soon with another interesting and informative video.